Hello, this is Jeremy Morgan, and this is part two of our MySQL Basics series. Now, in the last one, we created a database, and we created a table for that database. So now, what we're going to do is insert some data into that table using the insert statement. The insert statement starts out with the word insert. And we want insert into, and then we'll specify the database that we want to insert into which for us would be YouTube demo. Now we want to select a table to insert into and that table would be members. So we will type in members. Now in this next set of parentheses we want to put in the data fields that are listed here that we want to insert data into. So we will go ahead and put in those fields. Now I cut that part out of the video just to save time, but what I did was typed in all the names of the fields. Which remember it's ID, name, address, phone, state, and zip. And those will all go in that first set of parentheses which tells us the values. Or the field names, sorry. The next part is values. And as you might have guessed, this next set of parentheses will contain the values that we're going to insert into those fields. Now each of these that we insert in here will correspond to up here. So the first one, members ID, is null. And a quick note about that, the members ID is an auto increment field, which means it's going to increment all by itself. So if there are already four records in there, then it will change it to a five. If there are ten records, it will put an eleven in and it will automatically insert that value in there so that it'll count up and then you don't have to do that logic when you insert things. So the best thing to put there is null and then it'll automatically insert the next record number. And the next one after members ID is member name so we'll go ahead and put in a member name. Put in Jeremy. And the next one is address. As you can see here, we'll put in the address. Now as you can see, we have all the values put in and each of those values corresponds to one of the field names. Null for member's ID, member name, member address, member phone, member state, and member zip. Just to go over it one more time, we have insert into the database name, which is YouTube demo dot members. So we're saying members table. These fields are what we're inserting into with the values and these are the values we'll be inserting into it. We want to put a semicolon at the end to let the server know that is the end of the statement. And we've executed the query which in MySQL workbase is workbench is query execute or control enter. And now when we go in here to view data there's my entry. Now you notice there was already two records in here. This is record number one, this is record number two, and as you can see this is record number three. So of course the next one that will be entered as long as we put in a null value will be number four. And that's how easy it is to insert data into a MySQL database. 